Uh, when I think of Christmas, there's so many words that come to my mind and all the things that it could represent, but one thing that it has to represent is something that the world needs to survive, and that's called hope. Your hope is that thing that uh, helps you to look forward to something. You know, you can, hope is the feeling that you get, I guess. You can be packing for a vacation, and um, you're hoping it's going to be a good vacation. So as you pack, you think about the future and all the great things that's going to happen, and that's hope. Hope is kind of like planning for a wedding, and you hope everything's going to turn out okay. So while you're planning for that wedding, you have these good feelings inside of you, these emotions that just drive you forward because you believe that something good is going to happen in your future. Hope is the thing that you feel when you're planning a family or when you're starting a new job. Hope is the thing you feel when you're building a house or any of those things in life that cause us to think that the future is going to be better than the present. Christmas is a time of hope. There's a lot of kids in this room tonight hoping that you're going to get what you asked for. And as you go to bed tonight, you will have visions of sugar plums dancing in your head. Even though most of you have no idea what a sugar plum is, I promise you, you're going to have hope when you go to bed tonight. Because it means that tomorrow is going to be better than today. Wow, what a year we've had. My goodness. When I think of 2008, I think it's a year that we have probably needed hope more than any other year that I can remember in a long time. Do you remember what all happened this year? Boy, if there was ever a time we needed hope, it's definitely now. Hello on this Friday, the eighth day of February 2008. I'm Kristen Volk with the UPI Headline Update. Six people are dead following a shooting at a police station and city council meeting last night outside of St. Louis, Missouri. Charles Lee Thornton allegedly shot two police officers, a councilwoman, and a public works director. Welcome, everybody. I'm Neil Cavuto, and this is your world. And what in the world is the deal with these bailouts? The biggest financial one ever written being rewritten, the biggest economic one ever proposed being readied for launch. The Treasury Secretary. This 23 year old man is reading his will. His name is Tarek Hamid. He is a suicide bomber. With Shell raising its price for a gallon of regular unleaded gas by 12 cents over the weekend from $4.31 to $4.43 and all gas. Well, the largest bank failure in U.S. history is dragging down the financials and for the major movers of the morning, let's get to Alan Brayman. But before I do that, I just want to mention that S&P futures right now are hitting their session low, so a lot of nervousness in the market. A couple of hours ago, we saw some debris fly off the hotel. Parts of the wall were just sheared right off. Some of that debris fell down in the parking lot. Murder inside a Steak and Shake restaurant in South County. Someone was found. You know, the Bible says that if our hope is only in this world, then we're going to be miserable. You know how many people are miserable today? Because when they see what you and I just saw every day on the news, front lines of the newspapers, there's something inside of them that says, you know, maybe tomorrow isn't going to be better than today. Maybe this is it. But you've got to keep hope alive. You have to believe in your heart, just like I do, that there is a missing element in every one of these headliners. There's a missing element in every story that you hear, and that is the element of God. Two plus two equals four, but two plus two plus God equals anything he wants it to be. And you and I have to realize that the hope of our future is not just dependent upon what's going on in economy, what's going on in other lands, what's going on in the, in the NASDAQ or the Dow. 
we have to realize that what's going on in the politics of this world and in the war zones of this world, while they do affect us, that's not the end of our story. Our story changes when we put God in the equation. That's why Jeremiah 29, 11 said, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I like that word, hope. It makes me think that the future with Christ is going to be better than any future without him. And I got to tell you, I don't know exactly what's going to happen in 09. You know, I wish I did. A few people think I should know by now. But I don't. I don't know what's going to happen in 09. But one thing I do know is that I am going to hold on to the unchanging hand of God in every month and every week of that year. Because I haven't found hope in the mere systems of men. They change. People change. Faces change. Politicians change. The White House changes. The, all of these things can be good. You don't know. You know, you put your hope in as much as you can. But at the end of the day, I want to make sure that my future is secured by God.